girl, this is some tea. Tea. Hello, 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 my beautiful stones and gems. Let me take the countdown real quick. Hello, 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 my beautiful stones and gems. Thank you for clicking this video. I am your host, Miss Mama Medusa, and this is the Medusa Show. And as you can see, I have a very special, two very special guests. I got my guest panelists. My special guest panelists are here. The lovely Darren Green Show and the Essence of It Seven. Period. Drop a bomb on them for my guests, please, Darren. <laughs> Period. Did y'all hear that? Oh, I thought they were saying that you will not bring your ghetto here. No. Oh, we can. <laughs> you will not bring your ghetto here. We are a little bit. No. But... <laughs> Leave your ghetto. Well, we are. We are very ghetto. Let's be for real. <laughs> just a just a uh, tad bit. Uh, I don't hang around bit. hood people. I don't like you know hood people. Let me see. <laughs> hood, hood black people. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Do hood people kind of scare you? Ooh. Um, we have some things to talk about. We have a lot yeah. of things to talk about, actually. Um, make sure y'all yeah. give this video a thumbs up. I'm live on YouTube. The city girls, a lot of people were fighting. The city girls was fighting. Um, Drake and Rick Ross was fighting. City boys. There's a lot to discuss. Um, where did where should we start? Should we just start with the city girls? We can start yeah. with Carisha and Jatavia. Okay. Or did you want to start with this video of Uzi uh, voguing? Oh, girl, I mean, there's not much to say it. about it. I mean, he he he, <laughs> was, he was doing his thing. <laughs> do, 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 coming, do, 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 do. Like, you know. They're coming out a little bit more and more every time I see them, and I love that for them. Yeah. Well, well, I mean, he's just he's he's just Uzi. I mean, are we not surprised? He had I also submit. feel like it's something that something that you know he's they're not saying. Mm. I just I'ma play the can I play the clip real quick? I just, I just tins, feel, tins. no, I just <laughs> remember, tins, I tins, tins all across the board. I'll give him a seven. I just feel like oh. for Jatavia to be so homophobic, um, for both the city, girls, for, the city girls, for the city girls to oh. be so homophobic and they're in relationships with blatant homosexuals or bisexuals, I guess. Um, mm. I just think it's just. A conflict of interest. Ass backwards. Mm. Yeah. I know Miami to well, I mean birds of feather flock together, I guess. Mm. Mm. And do. And you know, surprisingly, like a lot of people that are in like the queer community, they're not I guess allied with every you know what I'm saying, like litter in the queer community. Like some people that are lesbians, they're transphobic. Mm -hmm. They're transphobic as fuck. Yeah. And, and I don't and understand that because it's like bitch, we're we're yeah. all getting discriminated against because of our sexual preference. Calm and down. the male community is DL. Like, these dudes, like a Diddy or Uzi, if he is, because I, I just think he's weird, but definitely Diddy. These niggas are DL. Like, so it's like, you know, they're not really, they are a part, they are a part of the community, but they don't accept us. We don't accept them. We don't, we don't bang. So it's like, it's, it. I guess there's a, there's a difference. There's a pedestal that DL people get put on. I don't think that um, Uzi is DL anymore. I think he's just fully blown out at this point. No, I mean he's voguing. I mean what? I mean he literally he literally did a death drop. Like, <laughs> but, but my thing is, but but let me just ask this question though: Is 
what is gay? Like I before it was just you having sex with niggas. Now it's the way you act. Dress. No. I, well, I thought that voguing was a part of like the queer black, you yeah. know. It's but we've that. seen straight women in dresses and, and nails and full sets. So it's like Ooh, it's what, a what street man do you know is wearing a full blown dress? You said street man. I we ain't talking what, about street man. Oh, street. street. You said street. Man is there's, there's a couple. A... There is a couple. And don't um Dennis Rodman don't he dress like that? He gay as hell. I don't. I mean, like. <laughs> but, there, but, there, but I mean, Uzi had a whole conversation talking about how men shouldn't be wearing nails because he saw rappers wear nails. Like NBA Young Boy. Like there, are, there are people which I. And Playboy like Cardi just on the fucking thong. <laughs> and these are people that that you know. My thing is this, and I and I said this way back when with the Jaden Smith conversation, which I gotta we probably gotta recircle. But yeah. when he was wearing dresses, I'm like, these dudes are out doing these outlandish things that are normally feminine. Shouldn't like, what's the, what's stopping them from just saying, "All right, I'm gay." You know what I'm saying? Like, you doing all this I, because it, in society, it's not accepted. Like, if one of these, you know, famous people that a lot of men, you know, like straight men look up to, mm -hmm. if they was to come out and be like, "Oh, you know, they're gay." Mm -hmm. They would get hella fucking backlash. Like all their homeboys would, would literally stop fucking with them, right? Just because they're gay, and it's like, what does it have to do with you? But they're definitely a straight man that that paint their nails. I, I've seen oh, it yeah. I've in colleges. It. Shout out to everybody that's in the chat. I, that was just a little palate cleanser just to get us warmed up. Mm -hmm. So what, what's going on with the city girls? What what is that? Um, the, the girls been beefing. Like you know, it's they they definitely they hanging out with different cliques that don't mess with each other. Um, Young Miami is on more of the Cardi Lotto side. Uh, Jatavia is on Nikki and that side. You know, yeah. They, who, who else is? Yeah, who else is on her? I guess Ice Spice. I guess who? Nick, I guess what, Ice Spice. Well, she got Ice Spice. Uh, Katie got bands. Um, Ooh. Akbar. You know the, the the mother girls and then the Z list side. The well, Z list. I, well, Cardi saw Z list too, except for Cardi. Who Lotto it's is in Z-list. It's not though. Lotto, Lotto, okay. <laughs> Megan, Megan is a Z-list. Yeah. K-list. Okay, okay. Lotto is K-list. K. All right. Uh, now, now Megan, I give her a B. A lot of, a lot, a lot don't care who tell it. A lot of Megan is definitely A-list. Megan, Megan is definitely, definitely B-list. It's it's a compliment Megan. girl B. It's next to A. Nah. So what's Cardi uh, then? If Cardi, Megan I'll, is, give, I'll give her A-list, but well, I mean no. Cardi. Cardi is still the top. She top billing to them girls, to those girls. No, yeah. I think Megan is definitely a list. Let's be for real. Don't okay, do that. I'll give her that. I'll give Megan a. Yeah, all right. Come on. Come on. Let's. Okay. So there are. So the girls are fighting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have any. Um, I don't have any like tweets, but they was going back and forth on Twitter last week. Yeah, we're not doing tweets this week. That was just too much. Yeah, girl. Listen, I had to make three fucking videos, and that still was not enough. Mm. Um, but basically, I guess. What JC was really hinting at is that Young Miami never comes online to defend her whenever she's arguing with someone. But my thing is, like, I don't understand why JC is arguing with these people when she's still following people that she don't like. If you don't, if you don't fuck with Cardi, if you're saying that Kim Barbie is Cardi's lap dog, why are you still following her on social media? Like, I don't understand how you expect this girl to have beef with somebody that she don't have beef with just because you got beef with them. That I makes no sense to me. I agree. I mean, I do feel like Carisha do be playing stupid though. Like when she came out with the tweet and she was like, "LOL," it's like, girl, stop playing dumb. Like you know what the team. But then is. at the same time, you gotta remember that Uzi did disrespect Young Miami like uh, quite a few times. So if I was if I was Young Miami, I would be like, "Oh, bitch, you let your nigga disrespect me. I'm not gonna." What, what was the situation with that? It was like a live when JC was on live and it was um it was her and Uzi in the car together and then I guess Young Miami said something and then he grabbed the phone and was like Young Miami don't play with me da da da, da trying to I it wasn't I I thought that mm -hmm. was rude mm -hmm. I I think but, I remember this vaguely yeah because I can't remember what he said but it came off as, as rude to me and I always thought that Lil Uzi was a rude ass person mm. but. I remember I that know. video. I, I remembered it, but yeah, I mean, mm. I don't know. I, I think it also be that Young Miami and Santana do hang together a lot, and I I got the vibe from when Santana first came into the picture that JC didn't like him being around Young Miami because you you know that JC had to be in the house for quite some time after she got out of prison. 
Mm -hmm. My whole thing, and I and this is my negative towards uh Jatavia, girl. Why when y'all got done and y'all said you said y'all talked it out and was on the phone, you still was going at it and he was like, Oh no, something happened with my Twitter. I'm like, girl, Twitter don't be acting like, like you literally you literally could have erased that if somebody called you in the middle of you typing that. Please don't play dumb girl. Lie on you. I think they both be playing dumb. Yeah, they do. But we can move on to it. Speaking of dumb rappers, um, Cardi B said that dark skin. Oh uh -uh, no, bitch. <laughs> Cardi B said that, what did she say? Dark skin rappers. What she, she said? The reason why she dark didn't, skin. She, didn't say anything, she said dark but, skin. But, let me finish. She said dark skin rappers don't get the same brand deals because they don't know how to market themselves. Let me play the clip and then we can get into it. Are dark skin. They don't get the deals that I get. You want to know why? Because I like. They, they just they just don't know how to market themselves. They're just not smart enough. Cardi B benefits off of racial ambiguity. That is the marketability that she keeps mentioning. She's like, oh, maybe I'm just so good at marketing. Babe, you are racially ambiguous. That is the marketing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Shout out to Maya, uh, Maya's world. Um, that was the young, the person that was um, speaking. We love her. Right. Or we love we love them. I'm not sure what their pronouns are. Um Yeah. I mean, who wanna go first? Cause I think I think Essence should go first. Um how do you <laughs> how do you as a dark skinned woman defend this this foolishness? That don't bother me. That I don't that don't bother me at all. Like I hate that people always want to point their finger at her. But it's fucking true. Glorilla just made a video about how she can't promote her music on TikTok. Meanwhile, JT, who's another another dark skinned black woman, she's promoting her shit because she's going on tour. That's great marketing, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't I don't care for her anymore, but that's great marketing, in my opinion. Megan Asalian always promotes herself. Dolce always promotes herself. So you don't think that Cardi B benefits from colorism? I think Ice Spice benefits from colorism. Oh. I said, I said do you think that Cardi benefits no, from colorism? No, I made a video and I said, no, I don't think she does. Hmm. <laughs> well, I mean, for her to sit there and say, because I didn't see that video. I didn't see, that's the first time he's seen that see video. I didn't see that either. Um, her saying that dark skin, she said dark skin, play that again. This artists are dark skin. They don't get the deals that I get. You want to know why? Because I like they, they just they just don't know how to market themselves. They're just not smart enough. Cardi B benefits off of racial ambiguity. Okay, so she's saying because dark skin artists are not popping enough because they're not marketing. That first of all, that doesn't even make any sense because you're not so you dark skin. You got you, you bad at marketing because you dark skin. She's like, saying that they're not marketing themselves good, and that's why that's that's why she's winning. It has nothing to do with her being light skin. It has nothing to do with like. The benefit colorism does not is not a factor. She's saying and, it's the marketing. And let's be clear, Cardi is not a fucking marketer. Like it's the fucking label that she's under that has created the person that she is today. Let's be very clear. And a little bit that, of it is her own personality and her own, you know, judge or whatever. But like you were made just like every other artist. I mean, we we can we can say every artist is including my fave. You know what I'm saying? But like there is a market behind it. Like you, you don't say don't say that they're not good at marketing, honey. No, your your team is. I think that has a lot to do with colorism. And and for her to sit there and, and negate that, like you could have just cursed out Ray Monte and just and just moved on. Essence, let's be very clear. The only reason why Cardi fucks with you is because you are a Cardi fan. If you was to say anything against her, she would call you all kinds of black monkey bitches. Let's be very like, which is why she, she will not. And I hate that people bring that up too because the only reason she called that girl a roach and Cardi has mentioned that she called herself a roach multiple times. That's, that's not a New the York same thing. thing. That's that's, that's a New same. York thing. And the only reason she called that black woman a roach is because that girl was fucking harassing her multiple days on end. If you ever go on her Twitter and look in her comment section, they're literally uploading pictures of this lady fucking kids and photo photoshopping the fucking kids. Sure. I will call these bitches bad bugs, to be honest. Saying that Cardi does not benefit from colorism is a wild statement. Like, 
I think we can all agree at the bare minimum that she definitely benefits yeah. from colorism. Like that's not even. I, up I, to the and game. I would even say that for my fave, Nikki is light skinned too. She be definitely benefits from colorism. Beyonce benefits from colorism. Um, Ice Spice, like you just mentioned, she benefits from colorism. I mean, it really isn't a lot of us really in that category. All of them, the Lottos, mm -hmm. Lotto. all of them. And it's not to say that they're not talented. Well, I don't think that Cardi is talented, but um, she, I think she is. I, 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 I give respect when it's due, but you know, I may not be on her side all the time. Hey, Dre, <laughs> y'all click the y'all click the link in my bio. I'm I'm live on YouTube. Um, we can move on. We can move on. There's a lot to talk about. Uh, what else? Did y'all want to talk about Kai Sinat or did you want to talk about... Yeah, we can get into him because I actually, I'm actually editing a, my other pod because I'm doing another episode and I was talking about this situation. Girl, Kai, girl. I don't... I'm I'm still stuck. So he's gotten to a lot of controversy. First, right. he was... Um, they said that he was being disrespectful in Jamaica. Shout out to my, um, to my Jamaican people. They said that I guess um, Jamaican Carnival was over the weekend mm -hmm. and him and his like white friends and his like non-black friends were like dr dressing up um, with like the Bob Marley mm -hmm. fake dreads and they were dis being disrespectful. Let me see if I can find the clip. Yeah, uh, I would like to check that out, girl. <laughs> Well, I mean, he is, he is, well, Ka, I'm not justifying his friends because I don't know who that Yeezy Eddie was that was on the side, but, um, Kai. He's, he's Trinidadian. He's not Jamaican. He's Trinidadian? Yeah, he's not Jamaican at all. He has no ties to Jamaica. Oh, okay. And so I mean, that's why. Boy, I mean, Trinidadians, they still, they still get down like that, though. I mean, do that in Trinidad. Like, you know what oh, I'm okay. saying? Like, it's all like, right. it's like. Yeah, damn, I, I, damn, we all black at the end of the day, girl. <laughs> no, no. If you're not, I, I just think it was, I, I, I was offended as a Jamaican person. Okay. Um, okay. And like, that was, that was the, the better videos. Like there were other videos of him just oh, flat okay. out dry humping the girls and picking them up and just like completely sexualizing Jamaican culture. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. And then he excused it by saying, this was his excuse. Bro, what? Bro, let me tell you something, bro. Let me tell you, bro, you're talking to, okay, this is the people that don't know me. You're talking to a son of a, a, a son of a mother who's from Trinidad and Tobago, Pinal, the Caribbean, okay? My pops is Haitian, okay? I grew up eating straight. Roti, um, rice and peas, China, bust up shot, curry goat, oxtail, um, jerk. I grew up eating all that. You feel me? I grew up eating all that. Then I had a group of six people in my school who were straight Jamaican. Why you keep thinking I keep saying I'm from Spanish town? I had friends growing up that were strictly from Spanish town, Kingston. You're an he sound, not. Like that. He, sound, he sound just like that ambiguous girl on TikTok talk about rice and peas. We're going to talk about that. Oh, I like actually that. like her. No, I, I thought you were talking about the little Creole white woman. Oh, no, 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 no. I, know I like. just think that Kai Sanat is just a waste. I feel like he doesn't con he doesn't do anything for, like, I guess the community or to make the children that come is coming behind us better. Like, what the... Yeah. He's yeah. literally just a fucking child. I mean, when he had that little rapper on it, that little boy rapper yes. rapping out doing something to some girl. And I made a video about 
about that. And he was in my comments like, oh, it's always, it's always the older ones that are hating. I'm like, nigga, what the oh, fuck? He was in your comments? Oh, yes. That's just, that's just famous. It was a, it was right. a, it was a whole the bunch girl? of... It, the girls, I think honestly, the girls don't. They see my videos, but they don't comment because they know I'm gonna respond. <laughs> like, and so I, I made, they, I made a whole video responding to him yeah. saying that regardless of how you were trying to switch the image of that little boy, you shouldn't have brought his little inappropriate ass on it to begin with because you know what, call, you know it, what it was finna hit. And the age shame, like, are you serious? It's like, but you two got them don't even know how to read. I think it's just tired. He getting he getting up there in the, how old is this motherfucker? Well, no, he's still young. He's like twenty one. He's very young. Oh, girl, well, I'm you, that's old in. Let me stop. It's old in streaming world. Yeah, but no, yeah. I mean his audience. He still you know targets teenagers. Those are the people who are watching him. He like twenty two. He is. He is fucking like, childish. You, to you me. a couple of ages younger. Once you get a little bit older, then it's gonna be that time to talk. Like, uh, how old? How long are we gonna keep doing this? My thing is this. Um, when it came to that situation with the, the, the rapper, because I talked about this, I a lot of his fans, they are it's very hive mind. Because they was in my comments talking about something. You didn't see the whole stream. I'm not watching full five. They were saying that too. That bullshit. Now you didn't see the whole stream. Let's get into what happened. The recent, recent yeah. Time. What is that? Some girl accused him of doing something in so, the well. So there's this only fans if worker. You got the tea, go ahead. I got to see mm -hmm. the only fans worker by the name of Layla, right? She is well, has posted nudes, okay, and threatened to post more. Um, because she was paid to sleep with Kai and she paid he paid her like five thousand dollars, and I guess there was a little bit more that she was he was supposed to pay. And apparently he didn't pay the piper and she she started, you know, posting pictures of him sleep nude. Okay. <laughs> and I'm she sorry. was released I more. Kind of whack. I'm sorry. Oh yeah. Oh, first of all, it's whack on all sides. Cause at this, you signed the NDA form. He made you sign the NDA you form. Sign that. <laughs> you, broke, you broke the NDA, you extorting hmm. him, and you doing revenge porn at like this girl is a bird. Yeah. You dumb as hell. Now he about to sue you for more. He did. He paid you. So mm -hmm. he so he paid her for five thousand dollars for services. And he tried to lie mm -hmm. and say that he he didn't pay her, and this was like, you you paid fifty dollars for the girl Uber. You mean it's you paid fifty dollars <laughs> for the girl Uber? And you want, is it is this a date? <laughs> no, you paid, I don't you paid see. I'm confused. So he so he paid for her. He, Uber lied, he Uber. lied and said he didn't pay her. Like girl, we, it, she had the screenshot of the of the Apple Pay. I don't see how the I fifty thought... Uber equates to payment for sex, though. Am I tripping? But she do had. Th there was a lot of screenshots and screen recordings of a transaction of five thousand dollars from Akai Sanat. I'm not gonna lie, five thousand dollars for some pussy. I feel like she's winning, <laughs> like because <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, she should have stopped there. Like honestly, but I right. guess because she saw that she's he's a big streamer, he could probably pay more, and he could have probably told her he was gonna pay her more. I saw somewhere that he said that she said that um she was only sent like five dollars, but then I also saw a video of her saying like if she was paid the amount that she was supposed to be paid, she wouldn't upload a damn thing. So, so how, we, need okay. to, we need to know how much you thought she was gonna get up uh, more than five thousand, right, girl? And then she and started trying like, to say, "Let me get more." And, and it's I won't. Like, really... What are you doing? Are you fucking his friends too? Because and my thing is this. Like. That is that is some weird. My thing is this. That's a bad business deal for you because now you ain't gonna get no more play play by no rich people no more. You are gonna get the regular Douglas now because ain't nobody gonna trust your ass because you taking pictures while people are asleep in yeah. the nude. That's somebody, almost like somebody assault. Was like, <laughs> yeah, somebody was like, "Y'all be getting mad at the trans girlies for exposing these men, but it's really the, the cis women that be doing it the most, and they Come not." On. Right. Come on. I, I'm just, I mean, shit. I, I mean, I feel like I said on my video that in certain situations when it's like, you know, the typical men that always talk down on like, you know, ex workers and, you know, just women in general, they need to be exposed. But if Kai ain't doing that, I don't understand what's the reason for her posting it. This is going to make him turn into the fresh and fit people. Like, he's definitely yes. going to go, he's going to go real incel after this. Yeah. Oh, like, did y'all hear about Fresh? Yeah, I heard about that shit. 
I didn't hear. But wait, hold on. Save that thought. I just want to read the comments real quick. Yeah, because no, because somebody said something profound too. Yes, he definitely said black Americans don't have no culture. Don't that's have what, culture. That's what pissed me off too. He did yes. say that. And, and it's I'm just like, like you literally were just sitting here talking about Jamaican culture, a culture that you're not even a part of, but you want to talk about, you want to talk shit about my culture, about our culture. Like, nigga, you're not even a proud Trinidadian, which is what a lot of Trinidadians do. Y'all be dick riding Jamaicans. You want to be Jamaican Ooh. so fuck mm, yeah, yes, Nikki too. Don't you wanna do that. Be, don't yes, you don't. It's true. <laughs> it's true. You want to y'all want to be Jamaican and Dominican so fucking bad. And there's other as if the other Caribbean islands don't exist. Girl, <laughs> it's weird. Like, but what you're not gonna do, mm-hmm. what you're not gonna do mm-hmm. is disrespect um black American culture. That's what you're not because gonna do. everybody be fucking stealing from all shit, all down to the motherfucking Korean people. Okay, setting up shop in our community, and then you want to talk shit about us? Absolutely not. Kaisena mm-hmm. is not for the kids. I'm um, staying cornstar's face. Um, she's a dumb, but get the bread and leave, child. Fresh. So what? What happened with fresh? Okay, so child, no. Um, Fet is the friend is the feds. He used to work for um, I think like Homeland Security or something. I don't know. But mm. Fresh moved this Chinese woman, allegedly, but she brought the receipts. He moved her from China. She don't know nobody in the U.S., right? Got her pregnant. She don't want to abort the baby. Now he's trying to make her life a living hell. Which Same, one is and, Fresh? Is that the Indian one or the, the black big, one? The, big, the black one. Yeah. The dark one. Not the big one. No, I meant my bad. I meant the- <laughs> Girl, like they got, I, I posted a video about it. They had pictures together. Um, she, he bought her, like he went half on her with the Van Cleef bracelets, like twenty eight thousand dollars. Yeah, like he was tr- he was tricking on her. But as soon as that baby came into the picture, and she was like, she don't want to get rid of it. Here come fit. Oh yeah, I'm gonna deport her ass. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna make her life a living hell. He was about to cry on a podcast too, and I'm like, I'm sorry. You I don't know. I don't feel bad for this woman. I mean, th- this man has a whole platform dehumanizing and de- and degrace and disgracing women, and then and you let this nigga run up in you raw and get you pregnant. Like you're stupid. You Girl, have she said she was in love with him. Okay, well, all right. And then like for he- the other one to sit there, like the abuse to these poor little sure microphones. Just screaming at the mic. Melting. These hoes. Melting away. Oh my God, I can't stand them. And, and they just they just ain't got no morals. And I'm a, I'm going to stick by my friend. I'm like, oh. Oh my God. Speaking of hoes that ain't got no morals. Did y'all see them? The, the girls was mad about the Meg Thee Stallion challenge. We saw all that ass clapping on girl, the girl, top. And the, then girl I... the, two-piece, the girl with the two-piece showing much skin. Talking shit. And then that one, yeah. that one bitch was like, oh, did y'all hear that Jaguar right said that Megan, Megan Thee Stallion is a man? I don't give a fuck what she is. I want it. <laughs> Can we get into that, though? Because I heard of that. that, that, that def- talking about? That topic was definitely on the bubble and under, okay? Because, girl, what the fuck? Now, my thing is this. I get into Jaguar, and I think that she is truthful with a lot of the stuff that she says, but she threw me half the hell of off. Well, I mean, with the Diddy stuff. But... Yeah, but the other half is just complete. It's just like, girl, what are yeah, you she just saying? saying? You just regurgitating yeah. the same because this is the same stuff that she. Oh, she 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 altered her baby pictures. She like, said how can you do that? Huh? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Jaguar, shut your big fat. I'm sorry. Ooh. Shut your wide, uh-huh. body, ball head ass the fuck up. I'm tired of you. Ball you're, head unaccomplished, ass. you're unaccomplished and you're mad. Like. You want to expose Diddy, that's fine. But once you start attacking Jill Scott and Mary J. Blige, that's when I'm just like, what? Like, for what? Why are you attacking Mary J. Blige for allegedly, supposedly being bisexual? Were you mad because she don't want to eat your pussy? You look like you stink. So I wouldn't want to eat it either. She do. She do. She and do. That damn live in Storm Room, bro. He know exactly what he be doing, child. Because every time she come on that, he she come on that damn live, he gets girl. A, Storm a literally me. disrespect. Didn't Storm disrespect her though? And then he and then brought her back on the show a couple years later. Like, well, recently they've been on live. Recently, that's that's. Yeah, but but they fell out though. Like you no, love no, being, no. Mm-hmm. you love being taken advantage of. Like girl. And then you come right back. You might as well just go to uh, Tasha K. But my thing 
is, why don't you solidify your own platform? Like, since you got all these teas, why don't you make your own platform, your own podcast, and make money? Off? Why, why are you so fixated with letting Because they probably going to try to kill that damn lady. But no, not even just that. But let me just say this. Let me just say this. It stops at Diddy. Your access stops at Diddy. They're not letting you in because you, you know, you told the truth. You told your truth or whatever it is the stuff that you went through but you don't know what the fuck is going on with meg you don't know if that you don't know what she is who she is or whatever the case right. is was with um with with tory lanes you are making the shit up and you're regurgitating the same thing that people people been with saying that meg was straight was was trans you just make like, it you're making and shit they're up. only saying that because she's fucking masculine and she's it, more but, feminine but, than you but, the reason why okay. she brought up Meg is because you're trying to indirectly now your target now is is the Carters and, and Jay Z and, and oh, Rock okay. Nation and all that. That's that's now that's next- with Jay Z. Now right, stay on Jay Z. You can stay on him all day. I believe Hell, it. Right, you can stay on him all day, but don't talk about shit that you don't know. You right. don't know Megan. You've never met her, so everything that you're saying about her is speculation. Now, if you want to talk about all the shit that you supposedly saw. Back in your day when you were in the fucking nineties, because nobody's been checking for you since, then you can talk about <laughs> it. But don't let's nothing. Anything that's happened in twenty twenty thus far, you don't know nothing about that. You're old and washed up. Nobody gives a fuck about you. I don't even know. I couldn't name a Jaguar right song if my life depended on it. I, I, Girl, if they, I if they put that her. mystery mouse tool to my head and say name a song by that bitch, <laughs> I'm going. Girl, I'm gone. No, um, no, no, no. Yeah. They said the same thing about Serena and fucking Sierra. Like, just because they see that a right. woman is able to be, you know, work out and, and gain muscles and be fit, that don't mean she's fucking masculine. Like, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Go take care of your kids. Your child is Go on Tasha K. Your child is on Tasha K talking about how you're a neglectful mother. Go figure that out. Okay. You know, a bigger fish to fry, Bookie Butt. Way bigger. Girl. Um, let's move on because that just pissed me off a little bit. I'm not even gonna lie. Mm. Um, why is Drake and Rick Ross fighting? I don't know, but somebody need to beat his ass. I don't know They're what's going on. I don't know how it got started. <laughs> it's a love for Drake, but they're saying that the messages that Drake uploaded between him and his mama is fake. I'm gonna yeah. play the clip. I'm gonna play the clip. Such a beautiful day. Me waking up from a nap, I just realized BBL Drizzy called his mommy on me. Uh, he shared their text messages between each other. Uh, Cupcake Drake, tell your mama you stayed out past your curfew, white boy. You wanted to hang at the park with the niggas, smoke weed with the niggas while we washed our old school Chevys. White boy, you got a Chevy, white boy? I doubt it. But anyway, big nose. Big nose. Boy, you had 25% body fat with a carved out six piece. Stop. We know what time it is. That shit costs 40 bands. Stop. But tell your mama. Well, in Miami, we say old girl. Tell your old girl she a beautiful lady. I told you that before and I meant that. But you tell your mama, white boy, you stayed out at the park too late. And you can't call her when you get in this shit. This shit too deep to call your mama, white boy. It's yo, he he talks like he raps. Like, like tell yo mama big nose. <laughs> he called that man big nose. I'm sorry, y'all think that's funny. Make sure y'all get it a thumbs up. Like it's it's I, I can't. I, I cannot. I don't know. And then he's going on, he's on clubs listening to Drake talk about some oh, guess who wrote sickle mode? I'm like, we know he got writers, like. And my thing is, like, I really do hate how people always bring up the fact that, okay, you know, it's a lot of, you know, even female rappers or singers, they do have writers, but nobody talk about the fucking men having writers. Like, why nobody mm-hmm. don't gang up on them about that? Mm-hmm, because they, they, a lot of them do have writers, especially Drake. Girl, we heard, well, I've heard Drake reference tracks before where other people was rapping the same lyrics that he ended up rapping, like. Literally the same lyrics, and I'm like, come oh my on. God. Like, let's be very clear. Drake, don't be right. Like, and my thing is this, this whole disc record that he came out with, people are saying that it could be AI or something like that. He's not claiming that it is or not. The fact that we are even having this conversation says a lot about his music. Yeah. Bitch, we don't know if it's AI or not. (laughs) So what, what, so what, what is, why are they fighting? Does anybody know? 
they're all beefing. Uh, it's they they all have their separate quarrels with Drake, but it really all started with Kendrick Lamar because Kendrick, you know, he there was a song that Drake and Cole did, first person shoot or whatever, that yeah. was kind of taking shots at Kendrick, and then this was Kendrick Kendrick's response. Now, with a, mm. we all know what ASAP got a problem with Drake for. I mean, Drake definitely shaded the hell out of Rihanna on his album. You know, oh, ASAP got a problem with Drake. Yeah, because he shaded Rihanna. No, I didn't it was some verse on there. He was talking. He was talking about Rihanna. Like it was. It was definitely that was a topic. That was a whole topic. I don't know. I can't give you the bar, but there was definitely like something on his album that where he. Where I he mean, like, what well, hasn't he been shaving her though? He said like she can have a Grammy. I cause I still treat her ass like a nominee. Just need to know what that coochie like. But one time is fine for me. They said that he was talking about her in that record. Yeah. So that's, this is this is ASAP responding because you know that's well, years ago though. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm just, well, for his recent album, he did he did talk about okay. Her. Yeah. It wasn't explicit. But you you got to be real careful with Drake. He be shading all the women that don't never give him no fucking play. Go cry somewhere else about that okay. shit, boy. Look, look they say that is. they say that that Rihanna did give him some play, or maybe he did. Maybe she didn't. I don't know. Allegedly, I think he said he he did, but it was trash or something like that. I don't. You know, trying to. No, I think that that video was. I think that y'all remember that video with him trying to kiss her on fucking stage. Yes, but you know they said it. Like, let's be for real. They say that Rihanna was a hoe and like she like pretty much fucked everybody in the industry like everybody is fucked up that's like the story everybody said right. and, and they said mariah carey mm, 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 to get where she at okay so mariah carey oh, that's what people here said i don't believe that from mariah carey got from under that man that was trying to take away her blacklist and, and uh, blackness and then she started Getting getting in her fucking bag like once she got from under that man and she had married whoever that fucking older man was. Yeah, it was like the manager, and then she married the manager. Mm. Yes, and he was trying to like erase her blackness, the little bit of blackness she got fucking got. Let me stop for the yeah. Good thing Teddy ain't here, child, because I'm lambs, child. Yeah, yo, that's such a pretty name. I know somebody named that. Um, right, Drake got writers, but Cardi gets dragged. I hate that. Oh, <sighs> sorry. Yeah, sorry to that girl. Sure, for kids, let me stop. She, she'll be fine. She has colorism to help her. Um, she'll be fine. Y'all be saying that, but y'all have not seen Cardi from the beginning. But let's 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 move we on. We all seen let's Cardi. Move on. Y'all have not. Miss Mama said that she, she literally was just rapping for fun, and now that she don't make it where she at, she wants to start acting. That's really I don't that was her end goal. Has to do with. Her benefiting from colorism, if anything, because she was working hard. Okay. okay, there are a lot of rappers. There are a lot of rappers who are way more talented than she has than she is, who have worked a lot harder than her and are not at the same level. And it's just like, who? Flo Millie, Megan, Flo Millie. Uh, well, Me Megan is that? Yeah, Megan, Flo Millie, JT. Um. I, I don't think on. Megan counts because Megan is definitely she's after this tour she's definitely going to be set in my opinion to do better well, things. I'm saying I'm, um, I'm I'm saying Megan Megan has definitely you know gotten her flowers, but I'm just saying like in terms of like, but Megan can actually rap. That's the difference. Like Cardi can't. That's why she has people writing her. I music. mean, but they but they're both <laughs> starting. <laughs> They're both yeah, one of them, well, yeah, exactly. One of them is talented and she's charting charting, and the other one is not talented and she's charting. One of them hasn't had a release an album in years, but yet she's still being and mentioned. Mean, but the verses are still charting. Like as long as the numbers are coming in, I don't they don't care about the album. Miss Mamas is still out here doing excellent, like okay. Which speaks to the benefits of her color of the colorism that she benefits. That has nothing to do with yeah. right? Every, okay. everything ain't about colorism, I promise you. Everything okay. about colorism. We're going to move on. Let's move on to Ray Monte and um, Cardi B. Let's talk about that. So I'm really tired of talking about Cardi B. Honestly, I'm really tired of them. Like, okay. I mean, okay. what else is there to say? You you got some tea about Ray Monte. Apparently, he's slid in your DMs. This is an exclusive. The Medusa show, you heard it here first. <laughs> it was just, I really wish I could upload the screenshots, but he was just saying how, like, um, so basically, it was a video of the alleged messages between him and Cardi B and how he was allegedly, you know, calling her a wet bag, calling her a Mexican, you know, whatever, whatever. But it wasn't his page that leaked the messages. It was like another page that hacked into his shit and deleted and um, leaked it. I don't know. But um, 
I posted that video or whatever just to, you know, give the girls the tea. And he was inboxing me like, oh, you're only posting one side of the story. You're not posting where they were calling me the N-word with the hard ER. I was like, I literally could not even post all of the messages because they were so fucking vulgar. I said in the video that, you know, y'all need to go look at it yourselves because I can't post this. Like, y'all was calling each other slurs. So, hold on, um, hold on. Was, Party and Reyante were calling each other slurs? That's the alleged messages show. But I don't, I'm confused on how somebody else got the messages from Raymonte account. I don't believe that Cardi was calling him no in, in, in no N word with the hard R. Now I could believe the F word with the, with the hard right. a, a T. With the hard T. <laughs> yeah. But in the, in the messages, it was um him calling her like a wet bag saying that she's a Mexican saying that Trump is going to deport her. Um, I don't believe that he said that either. I, that's what I'm saying. Like I, I was confused on how the other person got Raymonte DM. So why would even why would the whole say, video? But let me just let me just like into why wouldn't he message her and say these these it was fake? Because he because he did he say it was fake? He didn't. And even when he inboxed me, I I'll send it to y'all um in our group chat. Yeah. But yeah. even when he inboxed me, I was like, you know what? Um, you can show me the messages and we could talk about it like. Like, do you want to get on live and talk about it? The bitch never respond back. Okay. Shout out to the Stone Squad. Shout out to House of Desire. Hey, Lavelle. Hey, sis. Girl, um, they wild. apologize in the DMs, but talking shit on the internet. Um, ill colorism does help Cardi. I listen. Um, Cardi is not a colorist. <sighs> okay. She did say I'm that. Tired. I'm talking about talking. Shout out to the Barty gang in the chat. <laughs> Next, um, thank you. Who do you want to talk? Do you want to talk about DDG or do you want to talk about NLE Chopper? They're both. I don't care for DD. What what was it with DDG? It's really not much. Um, DDG is a horrible. Well, no, Halle Bailey is a horrible person, and DDG. Um, I want to put my phone down. He's a horrible person. I was highly a horrible person. Um, okay, so uh, let me just play the play the clip. Like it was like a screenshot that she posted of me DMing her. Okay. Um, and you were dating uh, Holly at the time. Yeah, but we was like going through a really, really, really rough patch, and it you was kind of yeah. So yeah. I was just like, you know, being. Yeah, petty, you know, type shit. But I had no intention. Like I did it in front of her. I had no intentions of actually linking with Ruki, you know? Yeah. She's seen it. Like imagine you arguing with your girl or whatever, right? Yeah. And, you know, you get mad at her for something that, you know, you know, you you're mad, right? And you're like, all right, I'm since you you know what I'm saying, I'm finna do this, watch this type shit. You know what I mean? That I'm talking about in the song. No, that's toxic. That's mine. You're playing so mind me, games. So like, let me get this straight. You DM'd a woman. You DM'd your ex in front of your current girlfriend um, with intentions of getting a rise out of her. And her low self-esteem having ass turned around and let you dump inside of her and get her pregnant afterward. And then when your ex exposed the DM, you gas, you and your, your girlfriend gaslit her and called her a liar. And you're wondering why I'm saying that she's a horrible person. Okay, she's a dumb bitch. How about that? Is well, yeah, that I mean, Holly, Holly has definitely made, got a little bit of bird vibes to her, but I don't think she's a horrible person. She gives mean girl energy, like mean girl in Hollywood energy that like, and I'm sorry, I think that she plays up on her like little innocent, light skin, whatever the fuck. Like she plays into that shit. And I just think that she just like, she just gives me, Mean little light skinned bitch. That's just what she is. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I mean, yeah, I stopped I, listening to their um their music a long time ago. And as far as um, who music, the music isn't even good. So you're not missing out on anything. I, I, Holly's music is not good, but I, but Chloe is <laughs> Chloe is actually coming along though. She did come out with with two good singles that nobody's listening to, which is fine. But I, I don't, it is I don't good music. Hear that shit. I feel like I like, uh, I like singing. I like singing music, but at some point in time, I got to turn this shit off because it's fucking. You don't like music. singing music? What do you mean? You don't like music. music? I don't like singing. <laughs> like 
I don't like I don't like to, like I don't listen to Beyonce because I don't want to hear this bitch sing all the time. I want to hear some rapping. Oh no, I want to hear, hear somebody. I'm not about students, if I hear too much rapping, I'm like, girl, I need to start singing because I'm tired of all these talk. All these talk. <laughs> I, I hate no, I hate hearing Beyonce rap. No, 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 no. I don't hate do it. it. Don't do it. Don't I do it. hate it. I'm sorry. I don't like it. I hate when she raps. When she was like rap talking on this most recent album, skip. I don't want to hear that what shit. Most now, I feel like she did. She did really good on the Carter. I love that I know album. You ain't talking about Alien but... Superstar. Brenda, I like no. Renaissance too. Don't get me wrong. But this, this country album is ass. Uh, no, I, okay. I wouldn't say that. It's just I'm you're not into ass. country. It is, it, you're not it's into ass. country. It is it's okay. Not, it's not good. It's, it's not ass. bad. It's, it's okay. It's, it's indifferent. Not. It's indifferent. It's ass. It's not good. Um, it's ass. Well, like at least somebody save so is dropping here. albums. Say that again. At least somebody's fave is dropping albums. I mean, she's about to retire. She got to get her last hoorah. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Her last okay. Sure, Jan. Sure. Consistently. I mean, the albums really don't matter. You can drop five albums and all of them should be ass. Let's not act like it's not possible. But anyway, ask Brianna. Ask Brianna. Well, listen. Ooh, Rihanna okay. didn't deserve that stray. Okay. She did not deserve that stray. Rihanna, she. Fuck that Rihanna. Was doing that bitch is a pick me. I didn't like Jolene either. I'm wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Well, I didn't like Jolene either. But, um,. I'm talking Ooh. about Beyonce's Jolene. I didn't like it either, either one. But um, <laughs> okay. I, I I don't want. The, I, okay, you telling her don't to mess with your man. Okay. Ain't nobody my want favorite, him. But my you. favorite song when there was Bodyguard because girl, I get into the girl. It's like I'm in a dive in bar in Louisiana, child, with my cowboy hat. Okay, that that's what that's what Bodyguard is. I like okay. Riverdale. Riverdale is that the one she's like? Come on, on this shit. Yeah, I like that. That's the, and then uh, and of course sixteen carriages and that's about it. Sixteen carriages, yeah, well, that's my song too. Yeah, that's it. I like that one. That other one with Shabuzi on there. It's like bucket, bucket. It's no, like a mechanical no. bull. Like that's, that's <laughs> no. like I just want to go to a bar on a mechanical bull. Like you know, and <laughs> yeah, Jolene. <sighs> I like Bodyguard and Desert Eagle. I gotta look into it. Okay, what were we even talking about? Oh, we were talking about DDG and Hallie. Yeah, Hallie Bailey ain't shit. Um, girl, like I, everything that she gets in life with this man, this man is going to ruin her. This man's gonna ruin her life, and she gets she deserves everything that she gets when it comes to him. She needs to break up oh. with him and move on. They have a child together. There's no breaking up. He's going to be involved in her life for the rest of her life. Well, look, at the end of the day, bitch, I ain't paying no child. And for allegedly, me. they're married, so. Oh, okay. oh. well, she probably gonna oh. be like, "Oh, well, you know, he he just be doing those. He just if he, they are married, then I'm I, okay. I can get behind that. And you know what I'm saying? At least you're not just somebody. At least you're not just a rapper's baby mama. But see, I don't like because we have this conversation now. Like we got articles talking about, oh, oh my gosh, she worked for Disney. She was Princess Ariel, and she became like. Get a tired of wedlock. Like I'm like, why the fuck does that even matter in this year? I just think it's just who she had a child with. Like who she had, you had a, a baby. Exactly. You had a baby. You work. You're a Disney princess. Um, one of the first black Disney princesses, I believe. Like these are like. Uh, okay, aside from maybe who Cinderella. First black pr Disney princess. Like one of the first black Disney princesses. Who was the first one? Tiana. Princess Tiana. No, like the act, like a, a real one, <laughs> like like a. Oh, you person. mean like live action? Oh, okay. Yeah, right. Brandy. Not, okay, yeah. Aside from Brandy, but still, oh, I like. Thought, okay. Oh, I didn't know that was Disney. I thought that was some another company. Right, okay. like what's that? I don't know, but whatever. Still, I'm, I'm, at least the, at least in the last twenty years, you've been the oh, first. Oh, Brandy was a that she was a. Mm, I didn't like her back in the back in the nineties. Well, like, I loved her. She no, she because she the the stuff that she used to say about um what's that what's that rapper name Foxy Brown, as if oh, girl, you, you wasn't a fucking mean <laughs> girl like you was fat okay. as hell you're, and, and you're like, Brandy is just as dumb as her fucking brother and then her mama and daddy. All I'm okay, stupid. hold on, y'all are diverse. The point that I'm making is that you know you being a Disney Channel princess is like a big fucking deal yeah. and you know you shitted it all away by getting pregnant by a youtuber um I, she she still has room to grow 
Like, no, I'm sorry. It, it it reduced her brand. The same thing with um Lauren London. When Lauren London, before she got pregnant by Lil Wayne, Lauren London was that girl. But when she got pregnant by Lil Wayne, it was like, oh, oh, wow. Lori, Lori London got a child with Wayne? With Lil Wayne. And she hasn't oh, had girl, any- I think that little boy like 10 or 11. What? Yeah, what? he's like almost he's almost a teenager. And she hasn't been in any major movies since. Mm-mm. I mean, granted, she wasn't in a lot of major movies before, but she was before, still, yeah. you know, she, she was, was she wasn't rising, girl. She was Yes, they was. Toya. She was. Her and Toya was um, sister wives. Look, Lori <laughs> London was the girl that you casted because she's a pretty young thing <laughs> that you just want to love. A love interest in a black film. Come on. She was like on the road. She was like the Megan. She was like on the road to being like our generation's Megan Good. We don't know who the fuck that is. Again, Megan Good. Oh, oh, she did have a couple hits on her. Let me, let me just. Let That's me. what I'm saying. Like Lauren London, stop! Don't play. Lauren London was like the was the like the ultimate like pretty girl that you would cast for like a black movie in a love interest. But then her career went down when she became Lil one of many one of the many baby mamas to Lil Wayne. Now I don't know about her being sister wives and all that. That's all alleged. But I could see it because she's dumb. Mm. Yeah, that's how her and Toya became cool because um, Lil Wayne was fucking with them allegedly around the same time. Well, wasn't um, Regine like a teenager by the time her and Lil Wayne got together? So that don't make no sense. You talk about resume. But him and um, Toya and Lil Wayne been together for a long time. Yes, yeah, since they were kids. But I'm just saying, mm-hmm. like, she should have been moved. Come on. Anyways, let's move on to the next. You know how these, these women be dumb over the D trail. Mm-hmm. You know they like to get passed around by the same people. Ooh. Um, we talked about DDG. We could talk about um what's his name? NLE Chopper. Let me play this. Mm. Smell like with this. I'm trying to eat that. I'm trying to eat that ass in the pussy. I'm trying to take it a pound, 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 pound. I'm trying to lay that pussy down on the ground. If I was a bad bitch, I wanna fuck me too. Mind you, that's the same. That's the same little boy because I'm pretty sure he just turned 21. Because when he started making his music, he was like 19. Like, no, I think he was like he was a, I think he was like 16 when he first started. He was very. Well, when I heard about him, he was like 19. I think I heard about him like maybe last year, okay. year before last. Yeah. But this is the same young man that also pum pumed his baby mama house while the baby was yeah. in. Can we talk about it? Yeah, so they're saying that, like, I didn't hear nothing about this. Nobody reported. Oh, I knew about this. And he's a fucking woman beater. Yeah, all of this. Yeah, well, we have to say allegedly, even though it's we know it's true. but we Confirmed. Yeah, it is is confirmed. (laughs) We have to say allegedly. But no, apparently this is him trying to, like, rebrand as, like, a quirky rapper because he is allegedly an abuser. He did pew pew pow 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 at his baby mama's house while the child was there um and i didn't and like nobody's reporting on it how recent was this the essence you gonna have to i have no idea uh i don't know i i it's on it's all over twitter though ever since it was recent you know they they dug up everything it was like last year yeah it was it was recent it was last year because the baby's not that old it's not why was he shooting it up? Because somebody's trying to shoot him up, or or he? No, he was shooting at. He was trying to kill her. Yeah, trying to unalive her. It's not funny. For what? What was the reason? Why do they ever have, have a reason? reason? Right? Do they <laughs> ever have a reason? Did she called her not. Did she they not don't need a, These men don't need a reason to become violent. They're just violent. Ugh. If I call him the cops, she should have shot back. Not shot back. I would have got I would have got on my roof and been shooting at I would have been shooting at that nigga head. What yeah. are we talking about? My child is in here. Yes, you gotta Not go. me getting bamboozled by this cis head man. Hold on, hold on. You 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 who 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 hold on. Hold on. I really <laughs> like the song, right? I I thought it was gonna be a bop and then I saw this stuff, so I'm like, oh boy. no, I'm not. I, yeah. I I never thought it was gonna be a bop. It's cringy. I it was a cute 
song. Yes. And then the way he was acting on there, like with with the video, girl. But and then mind you, the last two songs that he made, the one with Lil Wayne, which was very Wait, trendy. And- Taleo, I'm sorry, she wouldn't let him see the baby, so he wouldn't shut up the house. Be for real. Oh my God. Be for real. Kick down your doors. And- but the last yeah. two songs that he made with um Lil Wayne and Max was obsessed with that song, and I'd be like, please turn that shit off. That shit was cringy because he literally was what 20, maybe just turned 20. Why are you making a song with a grown ass man talking about fucking? And then you got sexy red and Suki on a stupid ass. They be in his fucking dogs and shit. Like, yeah, what's wrong with y'all? It's not a child. And the crazy part is, like, yeah, they if, if, for those who don't know, and the song slept me out. Um, he had Sukiana and Sexy Red in the music video. He was 20 years old. They're like 32. Sexy Red is like 30, I think. Mm-hmm. She, she's like, yeah. And um, yeah, her birthday today, I think she's like 30. Yeah, okay. So she's like, yeah, she's like 30, maybe even 31. Um, and he, they were walking the women by their hair like dogs. And he was getting a lot of backlash for it. And then... Apparently it was um Suki's idea. They I thought he had leashes on them. But he was holding them by their hair. Mm. Mm. Either way, he was was still walking. That was Chloe Kardashian. Never mind. (laughs) Mm. Yeah, that was Megan Mm. Good. Megan Good had Mm. the leash. Yeah, Megan Good let for a white will let a white woman put a leash around her neck and walk her like a dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She didn't walk by like a dog by an an alleged abuser. Wait, but like, why, why Rick Ross? He, I guess he just uploaded. <laughs> what is this picture? Look at this picture of Drake. It looked like him. That's Drake. Cause that man is white. Adjacent. But y'all didn't That's have no man. problem with making music with this white boy. So why you? They said sexy, and that was my friend. It's not no damn twenty five. <laughs> she, she looked old. Darren sexy looked look, look almost about. She looked thirty five. First of she all, she looks thirty. She looks a smooth 30, 33 at the youngest. Hold on, let me let me look at that. Let me look at that. Hold on. That's is that why? Is that why she likes hanging out with little kids and going to kids' schools and smoking weed? With she the is twenty six. Wow. Oh, what? Wow. Yeah, I That's think you hard twenty six. She. It must be because she got face tattoos, don't she? Right. Yeah. Sometimes it didn't. She look a little older. She just look a little older in the face, and then and then them glasses too. That make you look a little. Cause her birthday know. today. No, don't do that. The glasses do not make. <laughs> no, glasses. she got them. She got them lens crafter glasses. Like nah, like she get some. <laughs> the glasses does not make to me. The glasses make you look younger for me. To me, no, you know, it, 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 I was like, girl, get this girl some contacts. She do uh, maybe it is the glasses. She do look old to me though. She just look old now. Damn, Damn, I she been like thirty three. I thought that's she was nice. like thirty two. Like yeah, bro. That's what I'm saying. Now she younger than me. Hold on. Right. That's what I'm like. Right. Right. I'm I'm about to be twenty nine in July. She yeah, fucking, I just, just turned twenty six we today. At least yeah, I thought that we were at least the same age or like that she was like a I didn't think that we were far apart in age, but I thought that she was like a year or two older than me because I know that Suki is older Girl. than me. She wore but, glasses on her yep, the librarian style. Look, okay, my own room. Like that's and them should be thick, thick too. Thick as so <laughs> she wear glasses on her nose, that's why she look older. Shania, get out of here. Um like a damn librarian. Okay, like I said. Next. <laughs> um, Michael Carmichael. Okay, do you want to talk about do because I, I don't I don't really want to talk about him either. Do you want to talk about Michael Carmichael or do we want to talk about uh uh Summer Walker's new man? Girl, because let's let's get into the new man. Let's get into the new man. So Summer Walker got a new man. Unfortunately, I don't have it. Oh, I do. Perfect. What is so this here is here is her man. You can't really see him. But apparently he is an abuser, which is like you know to be expected because Summer Walker has horrible taste. Horrible in men. taste, man. She's a horrible mother. Um, she <laughs> she <laughs> like no. So I don't care. Like I, I, let me just say that Summer Walker is a horrible mom. 
Um, she she doesn't need she jumps into relationships when her children are like adolescent, like literal infants. She doesn't even take chance a chance to get to know her kids because she's too busy running behind um the next man trying to find them a stepdaddy. She's mm. this is the same woman who got a man's name tatted on her face while her child was like three months old. Some random man that he she just met named Tad on her face, then turned around and had a baby with him. And of course, they're not together to this day. Summer Walker is a horrible mother with horrible, who has horrible, uh, makes horrible decisions when it comes to the fathers of her kids. And a horrible BBL. Mm. Well, oh, yeah, she got that. She got that Asian Debrett BBL. You can't see it. In the, you can't see it in the picture, unfortunately. I, I might have other pictures though. Child, they posted all the tea on that man. And I mean all down to the fucking the the DMs. Okay. So what's I saw what's everything. the tea? Then? What's the tea with him? And make sure I see yourself up. The tea is he goes after S workers, right? Mm -hmm. So it was three different women that posted about him. One said even Miss B Nasty, if you know who that is, so that's four different women. Miss B Nasty said that she um that he was stalking her for like two years. Oh, you know, um Gemini, I think Miss Gemini baby or something like that. She said that he was stalking her for like six fucking years. Um, it was another woman that um I guess she did it with him one time and he was like calling him, he was like calling her his wife and saying that he wants his wife back and saying that um I he had him going it. crazy because he, she wasn't responding. Like it's bad. And I know I know Summer Walker saw that shit. I have the clip. So what? So he be making videos with these women and then stop. So them? another woman, another woman said that he basically was reaching out like he wanted to work with her, but then turn come to find out he actually wanted to fuck her. Hmm. And once he gets obsessive with, it's only sex, sex workers that he's doing this to. Hmm. Maybe he has a problem or something. I don't know. But he's stalking hmm. these women because I guess he wants to. He, but he's calling everybody his wife let me and, and and well you know it don't take much to have a baby with summer walker all you gotta do is give her a compliment like some of her pictures and she wants to let you come inside of her i hate to say it like that but she already saying she loved that man and i'm gonna be honest i i feel that way about a lot of women i feel like a lot of women be faking like we uh, women be faking the funk and acting like they have all these standards and oh he gotta have this and he gotta have that but when it comes down to it it really don't take much to fuck a lot of us it don't. It really don't take a lot. It don't take much. Like e even with that girl, um, who is the influencer? Like that large influencer who's like a single mom now. Alleged, supposedly mm. she's like a single mom with the green eyes. What are you talking about? She even says mm. so. It don't, it don't. And like not everybody's all surprised because I guess they think that single motherhood is exclusive to dark skinned people with brown eyes. I don't get it. I don't know why they think that single motherhood is 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 you know you're absolved from being a single mother just because you got light skin and light eyes. Um, but you know, it don't it don't take much to to be to be with these women to right. get these women pregnant. Mm -hmm. They said it. She even said to herself, "We weren't together that long. I didn't know him yeah. that well." I think she said, like after three months of meeting him, she was pregnant. Yeah. Oh Lord, child. Oh, wow. I mean, I got I got pregnant on the first night, so I don't judge. However, now well, if you was to do that again, no, no, I'm judging. You were still young. I'm if you're I'm talking about women in their thirties. Um, if you're on your third child, like Summer Walker is, yeah, I'm judging. Like you're supposed to mm -hmm. learn from your mistakes. You yeah. didn't. It's not you have a habit of getting pregnant by men on the first night. You didn't want. But you have to keep in mind that Summer Walker, I say, she gonna have multiple kids if she if she feel like it. Mm. So I don't even think she cares about the men. I think at she this just point she do. she got she got the she got the money, girl. Come up with a new album, girl. She do, she do. I don't even think she care about the man. She just wants the juice. Yes, you know, the man for three months and got pregnant by him. I just, I'm sorry, I don't have, I, I don't have sympathy for women. She's not pregnant currently, right? N uh, well, no. we don't know. It don't take no. much. I mean, I just, no, I, the girl ain't pregnant now. No, she not. Who, who we talking about? <laughs> we talking about Summer? No, 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 no. The um, the influencer girl. Um, no, she's not pregnant. No, 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 no. She's not pregnant now, but. We okay. Well, I was talking about Summers. She the type who can't be single. Who are we talking about, Summers? Are we talking about who are we talking about? I need y'all say names. Summer Walker. I think Summer Walker is really allergic to being by herself. Mm. Because she, she was just saying that. And that's so crazy by, because um, she, used to be, she used to be social exotic. She used to have social anxiety. Right, right. Like girl, done came out that of her. That's why they don't have social social anxiety. 
The coochie don't. <laughs> that <was> <laughs> The body it, might, but the it's coochie outgoing. Don't. It's outgoing, honey. That was that, it. That, that that coochie coochie be be I am screaming. Her, her coochie is extra that coochie gets around. <laughs> her coochie, that coochie is extra be outside. Around outside him. Outside having a good time. That shit gets around the time. Oh my god! I was gonna play the clip, but uh, we can just move on, child. Summer Walker is our Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift ain't having babies with every nigga that look at her. Look yeah, her. That way. is true, though. Like she, Taylor Swift, go through a lot of men. Well, she don't have babies with them, though. She just make an album about them. It's different. Yeah, she probably okay. get, let me stop. Who can? Oh, hey, even if that's what she's doing. I can get behind that, but you having babies with every nigga that looks at you is giving birth. Um, mm -hmm. And last, but certainly not least. Oh, Lord. <laughs> this woman. Mulatto. Um, That's the I one guess, drop rule right there. This woman, now y'all see the now all jokes aside, y'all watching it. If you're watching this live on YouTube, y'all see this woman. Mm. This is clearly a white woman, right? Obama um, is a mulatto. That's, that's a the one, one drop rule. Mulatto is a mulatto, they said. <laughs> um, this is a white woman, and she's woman. she has a very large platform on TikTok, a oh. very large um platform. Um, hold on one second. I'm sorry. Okay. My my TikTok is going. So she has a very large platform on TikTok, um, because she talks, I guess, a lot about like being Creole or whatever the fuck. And finally, um, somebody called her out for being a white woman, and basically was saying like, "Hey, this is how Rachel Dolezal." was able to, you know, take opportunities away from black women. Like, y'all think that everything is black. You think that white women, well, all you got to do is put a curly wig on a white woman and y'all think that she's black. And yeah, that's just been what's been going on. And they it launched this whole debate. Shout outs to who she got. Um, she's one of my mutuals on TikTok. She's the one. My too. I love her. We love her. And she's a cancer. We love her down. Um, but yeah, she pretty much called her out for being... A white woman and it's a bunch of um mixed and non-black people coming to her defense and pretty much it's one like, part master one part cool listen it's pretty much a bunch of i'm just tired and then like even like this whole first of all let's just say this let me just say this and i'm gonna let y'all go creole is not a race there are white creoles there are black creoles there are chinese creoles like Creole is not, you being Creole does not mean that you're black. You can be Creole and still be white. So I don't understand why she keeps on calling herself Creole as if that means, like Creole is not a race. It's the same thing with these Dominicans. Dominican is not a race. There are white Dominicans and there are black Dominicans. It's the yep. same thing. And this, in this case, you are a white Creole. But what is she crying for? What, what was the conversation? Like, what are you crying for? Because and that wants, video. Go ahead. She wants to be black, and she's crying because we told her, like, because black people told her, no, you can't be black. And I'm glad. Yeah, because she, she was like was that same that girl. How, like, she was she, crying because everybody she, was like making videos in response to like defending her or whatever. But bitch, that don't mean nothing. You have to go dig up your fucking parents' old ass fucking birth certificate, and you, that really didn't eat because you was a white. Woman, I'm the mama asking, look white. Can I can I ask y'all? We're we're all black, right? We all got four black grandparents, right? Mm -hmm. For the most part, right? Mm -hmm. Do y'all do? Does anybody do y'all ever get mistaken for anything other than black? Have you ever been mistaken for anything other than black? No, ever. When I do my videos, they be like, if I'm like bohemian, that's still uh, black. But I'm like now. Like, a, a few times I feel like if I was like Dominican or something, but nothing. I'm like, oh, oh, are you mixed or are you like, you know, no. They know I'm a nigga. They know I'm and a nigga. And that's the point. I'm like, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I know that blackness is not a monolith, but like, I feel like the average black person does is is not like people know that they're black. If, if people are constantly asking you what you're mixed with, if people are constantly asking you what your race is, 
then baby, you do not live. You do not have the typical black experience. You don't. You don't live here. Sorry. But I think one of the for, for most people, well, for myself, I can speak on that is if I see your skin color and it don't look like mine, I'm going to automatically start throwing questions in my head because I need to know you saying that you black and you saying the N word. I need to, what's your fucking ancestry? You know, like. Not your ancestry. I yeah, I'm just know. saying, if people are asking you that, that is an indication that you right. don't look black because black people don't get asked that. And when people do ask me that, a lot of times they're asking me what my nationality is, not my race. People know that I'm black, but they might ask like, okay, but what? They want to know more. So like, oh, are you Caribbean? Are you? Because I'm like very like Afrocentric. So people will ask like that. But they know that I'm black. Nobody has ever mm -hmm. mistaken me yeah. for a non-black person. So yeah. if people are mistaking you for for non for not being black, and 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 this this woman right here, baby, who Lord, be for real, jump scare, like. Oh, and you jump. know who else? Who else was on um Twitter fighting for their fucking life about their blackness? Oh, hey, Cardi, be it. Be, no, uh, she's secured. She's secured. Go with that, um, we're she talking about Bia. She's another one. If you have to start she's posting pictures of her. your, yeah, I saw her posting pictures of her grand. If you, if you gotta post a picture of your grandfather, which Cardi has done, Car Cardi be posting pictures of her aunts and shit. You've lost. You've already lost. I don't have to pick. She don't even, other people be doing that for her. But okay. Bia, the shit do. started with Bia because she was saying how she wasn't black and she, she was saying how she is black. And she's black because of her dad. Whole time, that's her stepdad. This bitch is Italian and Puerto Rican. If you gotta start picking, pulling out pictures of your aunts, uncles, cousins, and brothers, that should tell you something. I don't have to pull up, pull up a picture of my grandmother to prove that I'm black. I've never had to do that. I've never had to show a picture of my dad to prove that I'm black. So if that's what you have to do, Winter Blanco, that should tell you something. Cause she is that that's a white woman. Oh my god. Not winter oh blonde. God. Oh, you talk about oh yeah, because she you know what she was talking about the whole thing with um with Potomac, Candace. wasn't she? Yes, Candace and all that. I'm like, girl, shut your stupid shut I hate your white from, um... girl. You was in literal a literal white girl mob. Bitch, I think I even not a white girl like, mob. And she was like, Oh yeah, my dad is black, bitch. Her stepdad is black. What the fuck is wrong with these bitches? No, Bia really said that though. Like she really was like, "Oh no, my uh, my dad or something." She, she that was my stepdad. So, it was something she. I said. mean, arguing people girl. down, like girl, just give it a rest. This is a white woman, and I'm just so glad that all of Black Twitter collectively came together to remind her of her white privilege. Yeah, I'm here for it because I'm sorry, and I'm sorry that. And then they they be like, oh, I have mixed people in my family that look like that. They're not black either. I'm sorry. If you're, if mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck, even if you have a black parent, if you look like this, you're not, you, okay. Like, yes, you're black by technicality, by, mm -hmm. but in actuality, in terms of phenotype, you are not black. Yeah. Sorry, you can still pass for white. If you can pass for white, then you get treated like you're white, which means that you have white privilege, which is something that black people don't have. Speak on it because, yeah, they... <laughs> so much. Huh? I could say so much. But I don't like, know. Like I said, I feel like for me, it'd be like, like I think Lotto is a white woman. I don't give a fuck how gangsta boo that bitch is. When I see her, I see white woman. Lotto is just as mixed as Cardi is, though. Lotto ain't no white woman. I, I think it's maybe because it's her features. I don't know. Like it just gave me older white women. Not older white women. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Oh, but I think a lot of people get stuck on people like skin tone. But then again, at the same time, like that whole shit with logic, it, that man is annoying. No, logic that's is definitely white. But I mean, <sighs> Cardi B's parents are not black. Like they're not visible. Like again, they're another one like they like when Cardi B showing pictures of her parents to me, it doesn't it makes it worse. It doesn't make it better. She looks more black. <laughs> I'm serious. She looks more black okay. without her parents. Huh? I said, okay. I mean, I, I saw the pictures of her mama. I saw the pictures of her dad. And I saw the pictures of her mom's mom. Now, her mom's mom is dark skinned. 
But if you got her mom, off, we just said though, if you got to bring she up, didn't, she you, didn't upload those pictures. That's what I'm saying. Other people, though, her fan pages upload those pictures. Regardless, if you got to go to the person's grandparents to establish blackness, that just goes to show how far removed from the black community that you are. Like, none of us have to do that. I don't need to see a picture of your mom or your mom's mom for me to know that you're black. You're clearly black, and vice versa. The same thing goes for the same because that's that's. Same thing with my son. You don't have to show pictures of my mom for, to show that my son is black. The fuck? Like, her mom's mom. Like, <laughs> it's like, right. It's not like this. My like, mom's mom was like, you know. Like, come on. You got to bring up somebody's mom's mom. Bitch, I don't think that's what it is, though. I feel like people just, like, if you was to see a black person or, like, a dark-skinned person, you will be like, oh, they're black. But then if they be like, oh, I'm not black, I'm this and that and the fourth, then you'll be like, oh, oh, shit. I feel like, like I said, that's with the skin tone. People see their skin tone and be like, damn, now I have to question you and your background. But I mean, at, at the same time, it could be them uploading their parents like, bitch, this is what the fuck it is. Leave me the fuck alone. I mean, but we all think differently. So please feel on. It don't bother me. Right. We got one more topic and then we can close out. What um, is Michael Carmichael is a shoe, sh shoe shining raccoon. Um, that likes white dick, and um, he had a whole HBO special awarded to him so he can talk about him enjoying being fetishized by white men. I sometimes joke to him that like our relationship is like that of like a slave and the master son who like teaches me how to read by candle. Like, yeah, he groans too because he's a good person. He doesn't like that fucking joke. I like that joke. That's my bird. I think that shit's hilarious. Yes, sir. Marie Antoinette, sir. I don't know what that is. You know, that's, uh, it's a joke. He is one of those, what, what's that boy name, child? Um, Donald Glover. Mm -hmm like alt black niggas that's kind of weird but also like i don't want to date you because y'all don't y'all didn't like me back in middle school like y'all used to bully me back when i was in middle like he's definitely that type it, it it somebody hurt him you no. get what i'm saying no no what, what is it no. then? i think that he's just inherently anti-black i think that honestly i feel like i could see um white men making fun of him for being too black and being too dark skinned and him pandering to them. So I, that, that's my, like, I went to a private school. So that whole old white, black girls was being mean to me, shit, that shit don't work for me because I saw the other hand, or the other side of the spectrum. Like, bitch, white people weren't being nice to you to fuck either. And you still managed to be friends with them to this day. And that's what, work. <laughs> yeah. You may, you can make it, you can make it, if you can make it work with racist white people, you can make it work with your own fucking community. Be fucking for real. Come on. So I don't, I don't believe that. Um, you making jokes about slave jokes and race play. Like it's one thing to do it. It's another thing to vocalize you actually doing it. And the fact that your white boyfriend even was uncomfortable by it. Like and it goes, to, and I'm sorry. Like <laughs> it goes to show. Um, I feel like a lot of black people and interracial couples are on this type of time. Like we like to put so much of the emphasis on the white on the white partner or the non-black partner, but it it be the white it be the black people in these relationships that are part of the fucking problem. It just goes to show that people who are in relationships with white people are fucking problematic. They have questionable politics hmm. is this the same guy that liked um tyler yes what's his name yeah probably the greater because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he's colorist too so that that probably explains why he like them oh girl i'm yeah, disgusted you know Tom I, Grader don't like nothing but just, little white boys hmm. i just i have no respect for this man um, there's some six letter slurs that I could think of that I could call him, but I'm not going to. Um, but I feel like if he was called those words, it would be warranted. And it's not because you like men. It's because you like to be dehumanized by white men. And I just don't respect him at all. Mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Ain't no more defending. I mean, I, I tried to get this man the benefit of the doubt. 
I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> no, I mean, when it first came out, I was like, okay, maybe this is he trying to do something with this. But then I seen, I was like, <sighs> no, he's not a colorist. He's well, first of all, Shania, he talks about raping pregnant women. Mm. Um, he's not a colorist. He's just a fucking weirdo. Like he. Like he talks about graping women in his music, stalking women, hurting women. So him being a colorist, like that's he doesn't he's not a colorist. He doesn't like black people at all. <laughs> like he doesn't like black men. He says it in his music, I've been kissing white boys since I was in the seventh grade. He likes dick, but he he only likes white dick. He wants to make that very clear to you. Lord Jesus, girl. Make sure y'all get. And he like I'm young. Does he? Oh, cause of um, mm -hmm. cause of Jada. Y'all saw this video. Well, I, I don't, I, I don't know. Yeah, why were? I mean, I didn't think he much. Did. Of I, I, I he didn't definitely think, forgot man. where he was at. He, first of he all, he forgot where he was at. Who forgot who? Which one? Jada forgot where he was at. He was about to ban that man over. You sure it wasn't going to be the other way around? No, no. It's given that Justin does the bending, like he gets no, bent, getting but somebody bending. else is. Yeah, somebody else is doing the bending Justin? for him. Yes, there's videos of um Justin Bieber, Trey songs. And the light skinned um, football player, um, Cordell Stewart, or something. There's videos of them in an all male. Odell Beckham? Odell Beckham. There we go. There's videos of him. I said Cordell. Odell. I said <laughs> I, I, right. They all. One gay nigga. I mean, he, he, he. Uh, right. mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. But no, there's videos I of them. In, there's videos of them all in the club with nothing but men um, doing very homoerotic things in the club. I ain't got to say allegedly. There's mm. videos y'all can just search Trey Songs, o Odell, whatever his name is, and Justin Bieber. So, I mean, like I don't see nothing like it, most. You know, cis women make a big fuss about men being bisexual, which I don't see nothing wrong with that. That I, I like bisexual men. I like queer men. Cause some of the motherfuckers be fine. But if you just if, just say that, well, no, I mean, it, well, here's the thing. The only reason why I'm saying like, okay, because Justin is married. So, I mean, that is kind of messed up if you're doing that on, on poor Holly. Um, that racist bitch fucker. I didn't know she but did. if I didn't they know. were, if they, if they did do something, I mean, it's really none of our business. Allegedly racist. Cause I don't know. No, it's confirmed. Her old tweets. Yeah. I did a oh, video okay. on that shit and they tried to eat me up for that. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. I mean, in Hollywood, everybody fucking everybody. Yeah. And I mean, we see who his parents are, so mm. you know. And I know Will Smith is definitely doing the bending to somebody. Well, let's be clear though. Let, let, let's not it it could it could have the interaction could have definitely been innocent. I mean, these two, Jaden is weird, Justin is kind of weird too. Like niggas do weird shit. Like I remember I remember how dudes used to act, like, and they be straight as hell, but they used to do that because that was they boys or whatever to say in the third. No, I think no, I don't think that it's an act. I think that they're really like acting out on some on some sort of desire that they have. I just don't I don't think that straight men play those games with other straight men. I feel like them uh, I, I, I know yeah, what you're talking I'm about. Enough. I know what you're talking about and I think that those men are also like bisexual or something. They qu questioning or something because I don't think that straight men play those games. Okay. I mean, we would never know because we're we not in the circumference of when they hanging out with their boys and they and they girl. I'm just saying I'm not fucking each other. I'm not no, I'm not even saying that yes. though. I'm not even just saying that though, because I'm not saying like when they I'm just saying that dudes like to play and and usually it don't be us around because they don't obviously wouldn't put that on front street. Those dudes that like to play those games are gay. I'm sorry. Like maybe I'm tripping. Let know. me see. Not bend that man over. I didn't think anything of it. They literally grew up together. You're probably right. Yeah. Will Smith gives me switch vibes. Girl, what does that even mean? He likes to do the. He likes to switch. He's worse. 
He's a verse. Talking about a versatile. Allegedly, allegedly, I don't think it was anything. Maybe it wasn't. I mean, I, I still yeah, fuck with Smith. I, I think, I think social about. media really big it up like that because when it comes to. And like I said, even though I know we don't like Annalie Chopper, but I did talk about what he said about him, you know, expressing himself, how he wants to express himself with his music. I think that, yeah, there is some type of a barrier or like a box that, and this is not me defending straight men because I can care less, but I'm just saying like they are put in boxes. Like they cannot do certain shit. They put themselves in boxes. They can't, they, have, they, can't, they can't smoke right. a hookah. They can't have lobsters. They, they can't put themselves in boxes. The reason why most queer men get beat up is because of straight men. The reason why women get beat up is because of straight men. The end at the end of the fucking day and the beginning of the next, straight men are the fucking problem. Yeah, they put themselves in, in boxes. You see how hard Boosie be going behind the gay men? I know he wants to get bent or do the bending. And- and like I said, women be faking. Women be talking about how they want a hard nigga, but they be getting with these men that aren't that hard. Like women be, it's you. It's really the men that be putting these un, unnecessary pressures. I mean, there are some yes. homes, don't get me wrong, but it's it's you. It's usually men trying to um, be in competition with other men because these women, like I said, these women are they they let they fucking it they, these. These women are. It don't take much to fuck them. These women are getting fucked by the Uzis and the Tylers. Okay, I mean, it's a new day and age. I mean, there's some women that like to get, that like to do the pegging. You know, it, it's a thing. You know, and, and ain't nothing wrong with that. There's nothing ain't no, wrong. With ain't nothing wrong with there's it. There's nothing. Like oh I God, said, I, there's nothing wrong your business. with not. Would you peg a man? I've dated bisexual men before. I've would dated you, queer men before. You peg them? Would you peg them? Is what I ask. Yes. I don't see nothing wrong with them. I'm not I'm not pegging no man. You want a yeah. man to peg you? you most men, me. most men want to be penetrated and they're behind because that's where their prostate is and it feels good. That's fine. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that. I'm saying I'm not doing it. Don't ask me. I don't know. When I be because look, I, I do on my burner Twitters or whatever, I'd be saying I was like, oh. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a delicate flower. No, but I but it's like, damn, I'm taking the power back. I'm like, I know that's right, queen. Right. It's a, no. it's a dominant thing. <laughs> Take that power back. Look, look. I, it's a dominant thing. <laughs> like, I like, like this. Would they be doing the poor? I'm going to put you in the cage. <laughs> I eat my man's ass. <laughs> Shania. <laughs> She's, I know that's right. Now that's yeah. where I draw the fucking line. Uh, how? Know. How? Know how do that. you draw the line at eating ass? I'm sure not. they're douching before because they do. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not putting my face down there. But however, if you want me to do you with the scrap on, that is not a problem at all. But I'm not eating nobody bunky. That's just me. Oh yeah, you. you that's yeah. Just me. Oh, you don't eat ass. Yeah, I don't either. I get. I. I get to done. But um, right, I get mine eat. I don't do the eating. I don't even really care for that, honestly. Not golden showers, child. Okay, now we're doing Let's go, because now we talk. Girl, not gold. I mean, well, ain't nothing wrong with a little golden shower here and there. Oh, no. No, absolutely not. Wouldn't it it be acidic? Okay, tell the people where they can find it. Because I'm about to say, most men don't even know how to take care of the hygiene. As long as you drink water. You be done get a golden shower and that nigga will burn your skin off. Ew. I mean, I guess maybe in the shower. Maybe that, I guess. Not in the shower. Yeah, where are y'all doing it at? In the bed? Well, yeah, well, no, well, well, I mean, I I <laughs> never did I never did that before, but I'm just saying, like, I, I'm not opposed. <laughs> <laughs> I can't I feel even, like I, I'm down. I can't even read. I can't even click the comment because <laughs> look at Shania's comment. Not the gooch. Only special girl. Did y'all talk about Jonathan fighting? fighting news? No, we gotta get out of here. We got a hard stop at ten o'clock. Oh so yeah. Talk about that next time. Tell the people mm-hmm. where they can find you. Oh, I guess I can start. So mm-hmm. you can find me at the Darren Green Show here on YouTube or Darren Green TikTok or Darren Green Show on Instagram. I just came out with a new podcast. This episode, please check it out. I'm coming out with another episode. Surprise. Uh, tomorrow at ten a.m. We're gonna try to do podcasting from Monday to Friday. So. Y'all, got, y'all might want to tune in. Period. That's just tell the girls where they can find you. I am on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at the essence of it seven. And I'm on YouTube as well, but I don't post on there. So 
you need to start. Yeah, we be trying to tell her, and y'all know y'all can find me at Medusa Show Off on YouTube and Instagram, and at the Medusa Show on TikTok. To the seventeen people that's in the chat, I just want to say thank you so much for clicking this video. I love y'all so much. Uh, please give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. I go live every Monday at eight thirty, and I'll be back for some more, y'all. I love y'all, and I'll be back. Deuces. Good night, y'all. Bye. Bye, y'all.